These are the Nike SB Shodwear Pro Model shoe. As you can see, the toe cap is starting to wear down a little bit, but the rest of the shoe is feeling good. So I wanna see if I can make these last a little bit longer. And that's where this Gorilla Glue comes in. Gorilla Glue is known for being just like super strong, super tough and durable. And typically I would use shoe goo on something like this. But today I wanna test out how Gorilla Glue does for repairing skate shoes and do a wear test to see if this is actually a viable option rather than shoe goo. The thing about shoe goo is it's kind of messy and also it's harder to put exactly where you want whereas Gorilla Glue you've got this gun and you can shoot it right where you need to so let's see how this goes Another benefit to using hot glue is how fast it dries because with Gorilla Glue, you have to wait a really long time. So my theory is that I can glue these right before I head out for the skate sesh. And by the time I get there and put them on, they should be good to go. So I'll head over to the skate park and we'll let these guys dry. All right, so we made it to the skate park and here's how the shoe is looking. It's pretty haggard to be honest. Not my best glue job. And I'm a little worried that it's gonna peel off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it down and just see if I can make it like smooth it out just a little bit so it's not so bad because the last thing you want is to put a bunch of goo on your shoe and then completely like ruin the flick i know this is like destroying my grip tape or like you know putting marks all over it but i'm about to set up a new board anyway so all right that's a little bit like more smoothed out let's throw these guys on all right, let's see how it goes. You can see my grip has got a ton of glue all over it. Hopefully that doesn't affect me, but. All right, quick rock to fakie. How's it going? All right, let's do our first flick test. Uh, I don't know if that's me or the shoes. That felt strange though. Try it again. Still don't know, one more. I think it's because there's a lot more like chunkiness on the toe now. Flicking my kickflip's a little bit weird. All right, let's keep skating and see if we can get used to it. Oh, it dragged. Let's do back 180 up the Euro. All the way over the pyramid. Okay, let's do our first kickflip up the Euro for today. See if we can do this first try. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's rebate this kickflip. That felt all right. All right, never do this, but let's do front 180 on the pyramid. Oh. All right, I do back 180. I haven't done this in a while. You know, I never do tricks on the quarter pipe. I'm gonna do a few. All right, let's start off with just a rock. Okay, we'll do rock and roll. I hate doing rock and roll. <laughs> I like slide every time. Nolly pop rock. All right, can we do a 5-0 stall? Oh, I wish I would have done a better job on this goo, but these shoes are definitely on their last leg as far as the flick goes. And just looking at it, now that I've skated them for a second, the rubber is starting to wear in a lot better. Okay. All right, let's try back D. Oh my gosh. I always end up over the deck. I need to keep my weight inside the quarter pipe. Oh, that was better. Oh, oh, got himself. Oh, bad posture, but. <laughs> All right, let's move on to something else. Do quick no stall. Shove it, rock to fakie. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Oh, that was easy. Okay, last quarter pipe trick I want to do is just a kickflip rock to fakie. Oh, that was it. Oh, we'll take it. Maybe we should skate this thing. All right, right here. Dude, I keep on almost missing the ledge. Like I'm landing like here and sliding in. There we go. 
Yeah, it's super sticky. Just go faster. Oh man, that was weird. All right, there's that mani pad way over there. We're gonna do a back 50. All right, there we go. Let's skate the Euro a little bit more. All right, nollie back into it. All right, let's see if we can do nollie back one. Uh, no pop, but whatever. Let's do backside flip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. You out of here, man? No, dude, don't. I'm the weirdo that's filming himself with a GoPro. Lately, I've had this like checklist up the Euro. I need to do backside flip, back big spin, and then I try tray flip. So, see if we can get the back big and then the tray flip. I can get this first try, be hyped. Oh, almost. There it is. Well, that was pretty quick. I'm not sure tray flip's gonna be that quick. Yeah, one thing about these Ashads is I did rip a lace over here, which sucks. Even though you have this lace protector thing, I still ripped up higher from doing heel flips. All right, try a tray flip. Oh man, yesterday I magically did this first try. So hopefully it's quick today. I'm leaning back because I'm just scared. All right, here we go. Oh man, 100% right here. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, why did I step off? It's landed under rotated again. There it is. Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Almost killed myself afterwards. So here are the shoes now, and here's what they're looking like. So just like Shugu, they did kind of like wear into the shape of the toe cap. But what I found with these is because Shugu is like so sticky, they don't wear in as good. And because this Gorilla Glue is harder, it seems to be like a better mimic of like what the sole of a shoe would actually feel like. It doesn't feel like over grippy like Shugu can feel. I think I had a harder time applying it, but sanding it down did work. But at the end of the day, the thing that made it feel most natural is just actually skating it and it shaping to the way that I ollie and the way that I kick flip. I definitely feel like I could have done a better job like shaping it. It looks pretty gnarly, but the shoe itself is like, you know, pretty wrecked. So it's not like there's like so much aesthetic to try and like preserve. But I definitely think this will keep the shoe going for at least a week longer than it would have because this thing was about to blow out. And the rest of the shoe is feeling good. So I wanted to make sure that I got the most out of the shoe because when you spend a hundred dollars on a pair of shoes and when they feel as good as these feel, you definitely don't want to let that go to waste. So I definitely recommend this Gorilla Glue hack. If you do like these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Make every day Friday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.